Hey guys, this is Vikas and this is We Are Genius. Guys, today I am again with a new episode around Raspberry Pi where we will see how to convert our Raspberry Pi into a server. So, in this tutorial, we are going to install PHP, Apache. Apache is your web server, PHP is the server side stripping language, MySQL database, and X, uh, like PHP might mean a database interface in Raspberry Pi. So actually this uh, like making Raspberry Pi into a uh, like server comes handy in case of like IoT applications where you want to like have your data locally stored into Raspberry Pi. Uh, so if uh, that is required or uh, you can simply like uh, in uh, IoT projects you can make your Raspberry Pi as a web server and can pull data from smaller devices like uh, let's say Arduino or something and you can put into the Raspberry Pi. Uh, there are actually plenty of research uh, and this goes on like this. So let's check it out. Let's do it guys. So guys in this tutorial we are going to install Apache, PHP, MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. So as you know Apache will uh, is just nothing but a server and PHP is a server side scripting language uh, that you need to create web pages to interact with databases and uh, run like functionalities uh, inside our server with MySQL database and PHP MyAdmin as the uh, like database in, uh, front end okay so to do that first let's SSH into our Raspberry Pi so over here first thing we need to install is the Apache. So to do that, just type in the following command: sudo apt-get install Apache2 and Apache2 into utils. Hit enter. Click on Y or Yes. So this will download the Apache and 2 and Apache2 utils from the server or central repository and install into our current system. This is going to take it time, so wait for that. So that is we have successfully installed Apache in our Raspberry Pi. So to check it out go to go to the bare folder inside it just go to www. You'll see something like HTML or something like this. Okay. So now head over to your browser and type in the IP of the Raspberry Pi. So, it should see something like this. That means our Apache server is ready to go. Okay. Now, next is to install PHP into our Raspberry Pi. So, do that. Just type in the following command. Actually, I have provided all these commands in the description below. Hit on yes. This is again going to take some time.
Now this is the configuration window for PHP admin. Over here, it asks for the installed web server to configure PHP admin automatically. As you have installed Apache, go ahead with Apache. Click on hit on enter. So guys, this is asking for like configuring the database for PHP admin with dbconfig common. As you have installed the database already, hit on yes. Okay guys, uh, again this has asked for the administrable password. Provide the password which we have earlier given to MySQL, the root password. So, go to that. Then it is asking for the MySQL application password. Go ahead with any password you like. So after installation of PHP admin, we need to configure the Apache server so that we can have the PHP admin interface. To do that, edit the Apache to conf file, navigate at the end of the file and, and just paste this content into etc phpm admin apache.conf. Okay. Press Ctrl X Y. Now everything has finished guys. We are like we have successfully installed Apache, PHP, MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. So everything has been successful. So let's reboot the pipe. So guys, uh, now let's uh, get back to the browser and check out the IP of the Pi. Okay, the Apache server is running. Now let's check PHP my admin. So my mistake. Now provide the username root and password which you have provided earlier. So guys, this is the PHP my admin interface up and running. And over here, you can interact with the MySQL database. You can run SQL commands, you can create database, you can manipulate data, you can insert, export, all those things can be done over here without going into the command prompt. This is a general GUI interface. Okay. And our server is also running. So, that's all with this. We have uh, like completed like installation of server into the SQL. Now guys, the last thing is like creating web pages in our server so that we can like build websites and other and post it into our Raspberry Pi. To do that, go, go to like the root or the root folder of your Raspberry Pi. Then inside, you'll see something like bare folder and inside that, go to www folder. And over here, create a new folder let's say test okay it's asking for permission we can do this by using the command prompt uh, let's get to the home folder and over here you can see something like let's navigate to the file folder Over here, let's create a file sudo nano name of the file dot uh, let's create a demo php script that will nothing but print hello and to our browser so let's create 
just save it and when you click on test slash home.ph you will see something like hello on your browser so guys uh, this is like uh, creating your document inside your server so that you can use Raspberry Pi as a server so by default document root is in Debian is like bad dot root slash html so inside this you need to create all your documents and all to make or to be run on Raspberry Pi Hey guys, just me once again and hope you have liked my video. If so, just hit the thumbs up button. So if you don't, there is a thumbs down button for you also. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest updates. Okay, see you next time with my new content. That's all guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.